Welcome to our introduction to the GoCode software. Let's jump right in. This is the GoCode's homepage. We start off with a list view of available assets in our demo account. If you've worked with spreadsheets before, this will look familiar. We're able to add, remove, and modify columns. On the left-hand side of each item, we can also pull up their globally unique item QR code. There's also a search bar at the top of the screen to narrow down your inventory based on keywords. In addition, you can set filters on each of the columns to show or hide items as needed. At the top, you can select Map View, which will give you an overview of all geotracked items available. You can see we have trackers in different locations. When we click on these icons, we're able to get the item information and an address. Then we have the picture view, which is helpful for more visually oriented searches or if you have multiple similarly named items in your inventory. For any item in our inventory, we're able to click on it, which takes us to the item information page. Each item is assigned a randomized GoCodes ID. We can see here if an item is checked out or available, and a status option helps keep track of items with multi-year maintenance timelines. We can check in or out over in this corner, and we can also make edits to the item information if necessary. There's also a history tab, which keeps track of any and all changes to an item in your inventory, in case you need to track down when a change was made or by whom. There's general information available on the left and a place to upload an image of the item. If people scan this item's QR code, they'll be able to see these public details, including your contact information. We have the item's private information, which is only available to authorized users with an account and a password. We have a check-in, check-out log below that keeps track of exactly how long each item was checked out and to whom. There's also an Excel export option. Additionally, when somebody scans your QR code anywhere in the world, they'll be given an option to send a message directly to you. This system is anonymous, but they can provide contact info which will enable you to follow up on their inquiry. Up in the top corner, there's a drop-down menu with some options. Personal information and account are pretty self-explanatory, so we can skip to print labels. This tab makes it easy to print out labels using any office laser printer, and we also have a link here to buy the proper label stock. On to customization, these are global parameters for notifications from GoCodes. Different industries may need some and not others. This way you'll be able to tailor the messages you get regarding assets and inventory. Below that, there's switches for all of the available fields and GoCodes, which can be turned on and off as necessary. There are also custom fields, which can be added to the standard item parameters. Lastly, there are multi-user options, where you can add additional users onto your account, change their roles, and more. From here, we can go over to the mobile app, which provides scanning options. You can select single or multiple, depending on how many items you need to scan at once. Again, we can search through objects and see all of their individual details. In the settings, we have a few extra options. Audit scanning mode lets us scan and update location all at once. We can also enable showing thumbnails, which, once again, may be useful for more visual searches. Also in the app is this bubble in the corner, which brings up a support window if you're having issues with any part of the software. Don't hesitate to give us a shout if you need help. That's our brief introduction to GoCodes. Check out the other videos on our channel where we get more in-depth with different facets of the software. To start your free trial, go to www.gocodes.com.